The Pup Foot Rally starts now. Pup Foot Rally, baby! Oh my gosh! Yes! Oh, cool. They're like unicorns. Why don't you run in front of the car? Can we just successfully evade the law? Well, sit down breakfast, is it, bro? Come on, we gotta go. Our luck's about to change, kid. For the next 17 days, we are driving our beach buggy named Gorgeous George 3,500 kilometers from Cape Town to Zambia. The question is, will George make it the distance? Oh, hold on. Day one, car won't start. Rear view mirror just came off. It's just spun. Can we stop? This literally could be the end of the rally for us. We'll be driving the skeleton coast of Namibia, the wild roads of Botswana, and finishing at the legendary Victoria Falls in Zambia. Stop enough to experience some incredible things along the way. Oh, whoa, that is so close. There are two checkpoints with fancy dress parties at each stop. Lost in the kill. Nothing. And we'll be camping at campsites so we don't get eaten by lions. Left his tent open at night, chomped his head off. That's still a potential. The goal to raise as much money as we can to buy school shoes for kids in Africa. So far, we've raised nine thousand pounds, and we're hoping that we can raise at least 15. So click subscribe and see how we go on this once in a lifetime adventure. Oh, where am I going, sir? Oh. Uh, oh, oh, oh. We're gonna have backside like question mark. Ah. Go on, Trevor! Wait for me! Andy! Only in Africa will you get a road sign like that. <laughs> Speedometer doesn't work at all. <laughs> Neither does the fuel gauge, but we're used to that. Let's go make some friends, Craig. Head to registration day. We're doing the putt foot rally. We're gonna have the best time. See you on the start line. All right, gorgeous George has been stickered up. He looks class. Something about like a car covered in rally stickers that just makes it 10 times cooler. This is business. We're here for business now. <laughs> do you know exciting, what I mean? Yeah. So I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, some of our sponsors. First of all, D Stone, who hooked us up with all of our badass off road tires, 10 times better than the ones that we did have. Also, massive shout out to our friends at Raft Automotive, who actually helped us sticker up our wheelie bin when we did our wheelie bin challenge last summer. They printed a bunch of stickers that we can hand out to people on the rally. Thanks to you guys, bunch of legends. Also, massive shout out to Nikki <laughs> who put in massive grafts on this engine to get the vehicle ready. The boys at Terrain Tamer, they hooked us up with loads of stuff. We've got to spare everything. We could spare build this car everything. again. We've also got a mascot, which is our little boy, Emmett. Look at that little cheeky He's face. So, cute. so his dad, Mr. Peak, thank you very much. Highest donation so far. Thank you to everybody who's donated as well. Their donations are flying up, which is unreal. Team number. 35. Look out for that one when it's broken down. <laughs> ah, you can't look cool getting in on this thing. We arrived and I got out and the guy was like, elegant. <laughs> got our keys for our lodge tonight because we've got to get a good night's sleep. I say a full night's sleep. We're leaving at half past four in the morning tonight. So Half past uh, four in the morning tonight? Yeah. That's a clever sentence. That's what I said. And a massive thank you to the ladies that came that were doing the Pup Foot Rally but they knew we were going to be here and they brought us a little present because they watch our videos. So kind. Bloody legends. Right, where am I going, Trev? Oh, uh, if we can't make it around the campsite, how are we going to make it to Zambia? That is a good question. All the way down. All the way down. Okay, this is us. Oh, look at this. It's got a kitchen and everything. Some camping stuff, a little stove for the night, kettle and a little fridge. And then this is the bedroom. This is cool. Number 35, kinging it. There we go. Posh in here. I didn't realise this is like a full gig. I thought it was just going to be like huddle in a room, tell us what not to do, and then say, see you at 4 a.m. It's a full party. Oh, we get hats and everything. So cool. <laughs> That's so class. Bucket hat. Big foot foot rally mug. Black and a white t-shirt. Key ring. And a little bag. They were having a traditional South African dish, which is kind of like a curry and a big loaf of bread. We didn't realise it, but we've got to bring our own plates. We just went back to the car for our sauce. Amy wouldn't let us buy plates. If they give us a stew, what's the plate going to do? We have to use our fingers because we didn't bring any cutlery. Really really tasty. The only problem is, Craig, it's made up of majority potatoes. We'll be warm though, we'll be warm. It's about taking the opportunity to have that African experience and to also be able to give something back to Africa. I wish you Godspeed and happy adventures. Come on, rally, baby! Oh, uh, we're knackered, we've got to get up at 4am, so we're going home. Can we just put the wipers on a sec? <laughs> Apparently they only go one speed, so <laughs> fingers crossed the rain doesn't get any heavier. Oh my god! The wipers have given up already. Oh come on! <laughs> Look at this lazy 
bugger. That's it. That's it. That's the wiper is burnt out good. already. Definitely made ourselves at home already. This is pure luxury trap. Yeah. We're going to get used to this. We're going to be slumming it on this valley. We're in the tent for a couple of lives. We've got a couple of cheeky lodges. <laughs> We've actually got a lodge that looks out onto elephants. Don't tell them. <gasps> Tell them. Oh Wait till you see it. Oh Wait. Kitchen, charging station currently. Shout out to Jackery, South Africa for hooking us up. Table and chairs. Fun fact, on the drive here, we lost one of our sleeping pads. <laughs> so that's good fun. Moving on to the boudoir. Our little single beds found this little mozzie thing the top bit's got like the little zapper couldn't wait to show the people that could you we'll call him frank frank and george i'll get us through this trip good night see you at 4 a.m oh dear time for put foot rally day one car won't start not sure what we've done we may have left the windscreen wipers on because they broke last night. I think we forgot to turn them off. That's the only thing I can think of. And when the car didn't start this morning, we were like, what does that mean? Where's the battery? We're our friends. But luckily, we have a helper that is in the tent next door. Thank God. We have power. Ah, brilliant. Oh my goodness me. Come on, gorgeous George. Be a gorgeous boy. Come on, come on. <laughs> yes. See you in about 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm Thanks sure so everything's much. going to work out. Thank you, Bye -bye. that's great. You alright babes? We're like, we'll get up early, we'll, we'll get on the road before everyone else yeah. because our car's going to be slow and it didn't start. We said, let's get a booster pack and we just never bought one. On the lift. Yeah. And we're off. And we're off. Hey, beginning of the rally. Hey. <laughs> Just the two of us. I thought it was going to be absolutely freezing. Put some thermals on. I am sweating. There's nothing like a breakdown in the morning, Craig, to get things kicked off. Fish River Canyon, Namibia. Eight hours, 25 oh, minutes. Oh, and if we drive, that's going to be about 14 then in gorgeous George. 800 kilometers. We've got no chance <laughs> of doing that today. Unless we literally don't stop. We have to. We've got all our accommodation books. I know. Which you shouldn't do, by the way. This is exactly exactly like the Mongol rally where so many people come so prepared and then there's teams like us who have got no clue we are not prepared at all <laughs> and so everybody else all the equipment and all the stuff that they bring is for idiots like us everyone else has got like four by fours with like tow ropes and winches and boxes full of like tools and they're like how are you gonna do it now we're like we're gonna have your help <laughs> <laughs> wish us luck guys wish us the best of luck in the world because i think we're gonna need it if it's get stuck you just lean forward and give them a flick oh my god the wiper just came off <laughs> brilliant absolutely brilliant i think we've run off you all then oh my god uh, no. we're not even 15 minutes in this is the third thing. Amy said it comes in threes. It comes in threes. We've got a saviour. They're reversing back for us. Guys, you're the best. Hello. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what the problem is. Not dangerous or anything. Morning, guys. Do you think it's petrol? We think it might be petrol, yeah. yeah no petrol. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, this does happen to us quite a lot. But I promise you, we were 10 minutes away from the petrol station. We weren't sure how much they put in it before we picked the car up. Nicky said he put about 35 litres in, which is like a full tank. We really should have gone to the petrol station first and sorted that, but uh, here we are. But I did say this comes in threes. This is our third and hopefully our last. We only left 15 minutes ago. Nice, all right, we're cooking. We should probably call this video series Relying on the Kindness of Strangers. Here to a petrol station. Professional paint jobs taking a bit of a beating. Not the dream start to the rally, to be honest. Trev's got major anxiety, so she's just gone to the toilet now. So she's having a meltdown. We've got 650 kilometers to go. Also, I just realized Trev's left her mic on, so if you can hear. How are you doing, Pat? You alright? I don't know. Just relax, babe. Sunshine now. Get warm up. Can see where you're going. Why do I always do this? Don't beat yourself up, babe. It was a horrible. I was anxious driving in that, so. And relax your shoulders. I can't. It's so bad. You're alright, babe. <laughs> Alright, we're 
of swapping drivers because uh, I'm pretty tired. And I think Trav needs it to get back in. Yeah, I think if I'm zone. driving, maybe I can control how fast we go. All right. Gosh, it's cold, man. It's so cold. Good, Gemma. Hey. I've had to get a sleeping bag off the roof to put my feet in, that's how cold it is. It's 10 a.m. and we've got 450 kilometers to go. So we're over halfway, but we left at about quarter five in the end. Yeah. We just found out that we booked a lodge for tonight as well. Thank the Lord. We thought we were camping, but we're not. We deserve it though, so don't judge us. You all good guys, yeah? All right, we just filled up with petrol again. We're getting closer. Trev just put in a shift whilst I slept. And we got 116 kilometers to go to the Namibian border. So on this rally, you don't do much in South Africa. Everyone's like, let's just get out. We want to see Namibia and all that that has to offer. So it's basically just a hell of a drive through South Africa to make it across the border. And that's where the fun starts. But it's two extremes. This morning, it was freezing cold. Yeah. We've got like thermals and layers on, and now we're having to strip off and open the windows. I'll be all right after a nap. I'll just give you a little idea of what has come on the rally with us. So this is actually the car that helped us this morning. No petrol. Angel, it's an angel. Team Gloria, I'm guessing that's the name of this beauty. And between me and you, I think we might be faster than her. That might be the only car though. Look at that for a setter. Absolutely amazing. That's the colour I wanted, the gorgeous George. Oh, nah, I can't do that. I feel like this is gonna look horrendous, Greg. I don't actually know what to say. So we just got to a little checkpoint and they said, you have to wait for an escort to take you because the roads are bad. But we waited and no escort came and they were like, yeah, you can go through. <laughs> I was like, okay. We're doing it alone. Whoa, it looks like it's just sunk there, a big sinkhole. So uh, we're a little bit nervous, obviously, about this border crossing because uh, we don't have our police clearance form. The police clearance form is so that they know that this vehicle isn't stolen. But apparently, you only get asked for that like 1% of the time. Judging by our luck, Trev, we are usually that 1%. This literally could be the end of the rally for us. Wish us luck. Fingers crossed. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you? Thank you. Okay, bye. Thank bye. you, bye. <laughs> I think we got away with it. What have you got for us, Lars? Oh, is this just the South African side? I don't think we're done yet. Is that how it works? It's really been a while since we did a border. Okay. Thanks, Lars. Thank have you. Have a good day. Olivia. Olivia, everybody. Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Trevor! Yes, lads! Did we just successfully evade the law? Shut up! It isn't stolen though, just so Great you know. Great area. <laughs> there she is. Namibia, everybody. Hey! <laughs> Namibia looks lovely. Just an FYI, I haven't got my ring on because we might get robbed and I didn't want it to get robbed. Yes, Trev. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Our luck's about to change, kids. Oh, hold on. Hold the mother flipping phone. Customs oh, ahead, 300 meters. We're not quite done. We can take that celebration back, Greg. Yeah, I'll take that back. Squirty bum time. That was short lived. <laughs> we made it to the Namibia boy. <laughs> After a few more checks, we actually made it in. Welcome to Namibia, for reals. How are you feeling, Trev? A little bit anxious. Out of all the teams on the rally, we've come the furthest tonight. Everyone crossed the border and they basically got set up there in different camps. Pussies. Our camp was another two hours. Smart or not, I don't know. But that also leaves us very vulnerable to if we need help coming down this road. There's nobody about, not a soul. I feel like we're in true Africa now. That's stunning as well. We need a shower more than life. It's only been two days, but... Joe's got a shift in today, to be fair. It's nice being a passenger princess for once. We do have a day off, Trev. We've literally got no data, so we're relying on a downloaded map. So we're guessing the roads were supposed to be going down, and this probably wasn't the right one. And now we haven't used a map since we tried to navigate our way through India in a rickshaw. I mean, we made it, but we weren't very good at it, so... Also, the sun's just dipped behind the mountain. Well, what's the, what's the first rule of the Pup Pup Rally? 
do not drive after sunset. Between sunset and sunrise, it's very, very dangerous. And that sun, that's giving me 15 minutes, that is, until it goes pitch yeah, black. I think so. And I don't know how long this is going to take. And then the lions come out. <laughs> So on day one, gorgeous George managed to take us all the way from Cape Town to just outside Fish River Canyon, 826 kilometers, and it took us 16 hours. For sake, George. We're literally about a mile away, and this is the last mile to the campsite. Pray we don't get a flat tire. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Roy Safari Tours. I'm going to be your host, Roy. If you've bought the Surfshark Safari Combo, then you may sit at the front. It's safer. <laughs> In the daytime, I take safari tours. And on the side, I'm a spokesperson for Surfshark. Here in Africa, you may find yourself staring into the eyes of an apex predator. But unbeknownst to you, you do that every single day by using your cell phone and laptop. For the people at the front, you're smart. There's no need to worry. Surfshark is an app that you install onto your devices to keep your whole family safe when they're online. Surfing the web, you're exposed to many risks. Data breaches, hacking attacks, and snoopers. One solution to fight them all, a VPN. The antivirus keeps your device clean so you can surf fearlessly. Best of all, it can be used on unlimited devices anywhere in the world. So feel free to take photos and videos and share them online, knowing that no one can hack your phone or steal your memories from this once in a lifetime trip. If you were in my crew, then I'll take care of you. <gasps> and people at the back, We'll all pray for you. Get an exclusive Surfshark deal. Enter promo code RYOW for an exclusive three months for free. Africa. Nice day. Sorry we lost you last night. Um, the roads were pretty mental. When we got to camp, we discovered that quite a few people had punctures. But George didn't, did, did George? He? No, he didn't. Let's not show off just yet. Oh, okay. We okay. haven't got out of the canyon yeah, yet. Yeah, calm down. But we made it with no punctures. Get in, George. We're in the middle of a national park, and we're hoping now, for the rest of this rally, we don't break rule number one. Do not drive after dark. There was also a sign in the reception that said, do not let baboons into your accommodation. <laughs> And we heard like a few noises last night and we hoped that they hadn't nicked our tent and they haven't, which is good. So this is George after his mission yesterday. Little bit dusty and weathered, but doing all right. Because there's no coolant in this engine, this is the only way to keep it cool as well. Making sure the oil's topped up because it's a proper old engine. Oh wow, we are halfway down. George needs filling up and he's thirsty. The oil fill up couldn't be in a more awkward position. Oh, that's fun. Filters come loose as well. Tighten them back up, shall we? Uh, I lost my Leatherman, so I've got no way of tightening that, but we can do the oil at least. George glugged a lot of oil yesterday. He did do 840 kilometers though, what a champion. If you treat George right, George does good. You need more, George? Gone up about one millimeter. <laughs> what concerns me about this engine as well is it's just all open and exposed. Like we've got this little fence thing. <laughs> to stop anything big chipping up and damaging it, but surely an engine should be under a bonnet, you know? On oh, George's, his bits are just hanging out for everyone to see. I always get a bit worried this time of the morning. Please start, George, come on. <laughs> First safari truck we've seen. So cool that they just do safaris from here. That's how close we were to all the animals, Craig. Oh, he stalled Ooh, it. Whales, whales in front of everyone. I wanted to show you this car. I think it's a car. I thought it was a train to begin with. It's obviously not a train. But if there's one car that's cooler, maybe cooler, than Gorgeous George on this rally, it's this one. Oh, I have no idea what it is, but it looks super cool. They've got their little carrier at the back there. This little inside. So so cute. What, what is this? Ford Model A, 1928. I thought it was a train. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the coolest car on the rally. You all sit down breakfast, is it bro? Come on, we gotta go. <laughs> I'm just outside trying to figure out the route, trying to get Wi-Fi to see where we're going. Man's having a little three course breakfast. <laughs> kind of wish we were doing this in the summer because most of these campsites have got swimming pools and you were a sucker for a swimming pool. Look how nice that looks. Okay, this is the dusty road for this morning. I know yesterday we drove a lot, but we are actually going to show you some of Africa. So today, you're going to see some sights. Fish River Canyon, we're coming for you. Better be the best canyon I've ever seen in my life.
Boys made it. Please be good, please be good, please be good. Wow, that's Whoa. insane. Where did that come from then? Either a meteor or... Aliens. Aliens. We'll never know because we'll never tell you. You've got to read the signs down there and I can't be bothered. Fish River Canyon. That says to me, fish is and a river. But there isn't any. We've been diddle Craig. I feel like in this day it was probably booming. You know, water, fish everywhere. I was going to wear my fish t-shirt but it was right at the bottom of my bag. But I'm glad I never because there's none here. Bloody gorgeous though. What the beach buggy is compared to every other vehicle. Fuel stations are few and far between on this rally. We've been told fill up wherever you can fill up, so we've just found one now and we're gonna fill up. We do have a jerry camera, it's only 10 litres, and we've got a 40 litre tank, so hopefully there'll be another one in the next town. Hopefully we don't end up like this one, eh Trev? Oh, fingers crossed we don't. Our flags didn't last too long. They should be stuck up like that. Oh. <laughs> Just seen Zebra. Oh my god! Yes, how cool is that? Oh my god, he's looking at me dead in the eye, Craig. Now it feels like we're in Africa, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> Oh my god, we just seen wild zebra. This is a national park that we're driving through right now. So supposedly you're not allowed to get out of your cars because of the animals, just in case there's lions in there. What's happened? Our number plate's come off. We've lost the bolt on the other side, so take it off for now. We've got cable ties somewhere. If the police come, I'll just be like, here, here it is. Our number plate's inside with us now. So it's got like a little road close thing, but the rest of it's on the floor. Because this looks way shorter, but that way it looks way safer. <laughs> We've decided to go down the high accident risk route. Road, road in, in bad, bad condition. condition, please use the C12. Should we not do this then? Or I mean, this looks okay to me, but... Here we go. This is ready. This sand. Oh. No, we're okay. This is, a, this is a beach buggy. Well, we should be, yeah. Is this a smart move, Trev? Let's give it a go. Do I just gun it? Oh, I don't know, but okay. Oh, George. Oh, God. Don't oh, change oh, gear. Don't God. change gear. I'm stuck. Brilliant. We got far. We need some oh, help. this is a beach buggy. George. Cool, cool. All right, you drive and I'll push. Have we got a gig? Okay, we're moving, we're moving. Oh, that's it, we're moving. More gas, more gas. I'm trying. There's no gas. There's no gas. I'm not going to hit anything, am I? All right, all right. You okay? I'm buggered. But we're out. Don't get stuck in the sand. We got out, which is good. Well yeah. done, well done, babes. It's so frustrating. I thought we were going to fly over that. I really hope to as well. Everyone was like, you've got a beach buggy. You can go up sand dunes like that. That's it's literally like not even 0.1% incline and we got stuck. There's no clearance with this beach buggy and that sand is really deep. Like, I do feel like a, a Jeep would even struggle to get across it. So we're just going to go back the way we came. Oh, there's a road? Oh! Hello everyone! Okay, nice to see you! Hi gorgeous! How are you doing, eh? Will this make it? Is this is okay to go? Yeah, no, this is okay. Alright, this is secret passageway, everybody, doing the Foot Foot Rally 2024. Don't go over the sand. Take a little left. You're gonna run the whole way with us, is he? What a lad. Watch these big rocks, because that's a pop, pop tire, that is. That's the bit that's oh hanging down. Oh my god, alright. There's still sand. Oh my god, we're gonna have to get out quick. Drive forward, is it? Oh, I don't know, it's quite deep. There's just a lot, a lot of stones and I don't want to get a puncture. We're making moves. Hopefully there's no more sand. That man says that there's not, so fingers crossed. It's all part of the fun though, isn't it? You can't take the easy road. <laughs> She's only gone and bloody done it. Go on, Trevor. Hey, Walter! Yeah! Yo! Yeah. Okay, bye guys. Thank you. What an absolute guy and his dogs. Love it. Oh, don't worry about it, babes. You're welcome. Well done, Trout. <laughs> My arm is so burned. Touched it on the pipe oh, twice. Oh, did you? And it was like, tss, tss. you could hear it like sizzle. Proper adventure now, bro. It's one o'clock and uh, we're definitely behind schedule now. We're having a good time, are we, babes? Having a wicked time. Oh, what's going on? Stopped to check that the filter was still on and it had actually come off. So I just pushed it back on and now the car won't start. Come on, George. Come on, George. Come on. Right, okay, we're back on. Oh my gosh. Probably just too hot to be honest. I had to stop all day. Back to it. 
to it for another 1.5k and then it's smooth sailing. You can see the highway in the distance. Thank the Lord. But uh, before that, we just gotta tackle this last little bit. No, stop, stop. Right, we have a buggered. Already buggered. It's just spanned straight into it. Just jump in the passenger seat, mate. You're leaving me for a dead. There's all kinds of apex predators out here. <laughs> I'm legging it, thinking there's a Sorry. hyena behind me. Did you not hear me? I'm going, help me! Help me! <laughs> no. Literally screaming at you and you just drove off. I never heard you. Oh, my days. Tarmac! Go on, George. George. George is a beast, man. Was it faster? No. Was it fun? No. <laughs> well, we got some stories to tell. We met a friend with his dogs. We met four dogs. It was worth it for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In 1K, there's a picnic spot. Ready for lunch? I'm so hungry. All right, so you might think, oh, they didn't really show us what they ate yesterday because the answer was nothing. I think we had a cereal bar all day. For some reason, we just weren't hungry. I think we were just anxious about getting going and everything. The main thing that we're going to be relying on is fuel. And some wine. Oh, we're driving. That's a shame. How do you work the cooker? That's not the cooker. See, and as we are in uh, Namibia, scary. Didn't think I'd be using this so soon. Don't worry about it, I'm fine. Clean the wound. Ah! <laughs> Mum, she doesn't even care about me. Nine he's shown me nine times since he's done it. What tea would you like, darling? Oh, little grape, please. Life is the Namibian highway. Me and my wife making memories. No wife yet. Me and my ball and chain. This is what I'm in for, dumb jokes. What are you scared about the most on this trip? I think the wild animals. Every camping store we went in this week to buy supplies, we had a horror story from every person that worked there. The first one was uh, a 16 year old boy that left his tent open at night. In a campsite. In a campsite and got his head bitten like a grape, the guy said, oh by a hyena. Gosh. A hyena tromped his head off. The second story was of a couple. They decided to wild camp. They got woken up to the wife getting dragged out by a lioness. So they tell you not to leave your vehicle when you're in these national parks. Apparently there was a couple driving. I'm not sure where they were, but they ran out of fuel. They were around nobody. So Sounds after, familiar. After four days, the husband was like, right, I'm going to walk to the next village for help. Literally the next day, the wife was saved and uh, the husband was never, ever found. Ever. Eaten so, alive, mate, by a lion, probably. So, never leave your car, we've been told. Also, the guys were like, if you've got fruit or bananas and stuff, we eat bananas. Elephants can smell that from like five kilometers away, and they will trample your car to get it. Give me that banana! Gorgeous George is not gonna withstand the weight of an elephant. Stopped in Bethany. These are the locals. They're big fans of the car. Petrol yam full, please. How are you feeling, Trev? I'm knackered, mate, honestly. My back is in pieces. As amazing as gorgeous George is, he ain't comfortable. You lick your knees like <laughs> no comfy. How's your back, babe? Yeah, it's fine, Craig. Absolutely no, <laughs> no bother at all. Not just us, it's got problems. Boys are changing the spark plugs on this bad boy. Look at this beast. These are the kind of friends we need. They got a winch and everything. How can we help you, lads? We just need the tire like change. I'll take a look at it for you, no do worries. Do you like, do you like grenadilla? Grenadilla? Smell it. That looks lethal. No, it's... Ooh, good. just passion fruity, yeah. That's grenadilla. freezing. You've got, you got a good fridge in there. Sure. That was a big shot. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Cheers. From the bottle. Cheers, <laughs> guys. Really to, to yeah, the bottle, We've only got three dark glasses. Yeah. We don't know where the other one is. Yeah, safe travels. <laughs> safe travels. Alright, so for the first time we haven't quite made it to our accommodation that we're supposed to be at which is a prepaid for lodge in the national park where all the big sand dunes are which is a massive shame because if you stay inside that national park in accommodation then you get access to the, the dunes for sunrise and nobody else does but we missed it lads we've missed it it's been hell of a day we're both absolutely shattered so we've just found the nearest campsite because now it's dark so yeah we've got ourselves a little twin room couldn't tell you where we are but I'm just happy for a bed and a shower. You just take a rest by there, good boy George. 250 round a night. This will do lovely. And this is a warm shower and a toilet. And we're good. We also have a good friend. You can stay for free. Just a quick 
oil topper before we head off. George is drinking this oil. We need to get a new drum when we can, babe. We've only got four of these. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Craig? What are you gonna do? Pretty chilly this morning. Uh, we're up at half past six, trying to beat the light today. All that matters is that we get to our campsite before sundown so that we can enjoy it and that we can make some friends. Everybody seems to be getting there, obviously. A lot of people are in Land Rovers and Land Cruvers and <laughs> it's far too early, but they're making it there. And obviously, gorgeous George, as brilliant as he is, he's a tad bit slow. Moment of truth, Trev. We've only got a four hour drive today. However, because we didn't actually get to where we needed to be last night, that adds about an hour and a half on, I think. So we're up early, we're gonna do it today. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we've got absolutely zero internet. So I don't actually know how we're gonna get there. Our battery plate has come loose again. This has come off, just rattling around, so I have to tighten it again. All right, the battery's locked in. We need oil, we need a bungee cord, we need some cable ties, some fuel, because we're pretty low on that as well. We need Jesus! And we need Jesus! Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child! You haven't even had breakfast yet either. Breakfast is actually half a banana each today. Last night's dinner was toothpaste. On the way to sausage filet. Get in. Sauces flipping neck. Whoa, look at these guys. Oh, so cool. They're like unicorns. Trav's got a little wildlife book. If my wildlife of Southern Africa book is correct, then what we have just seen is a gems book or a gems book. Oh, cool. I'm hoping to tick off all of these animals while I'm here. There's actually plants at the back. Not as interested in the plants. <laughs> Massive shout out to Alex for the book recommendation. Yay, my first animal! <laughs> you, you mean ours? It's not about you, babe. It's not sister. about you, Craig. It's actually about the gazelle. I believe we are looking at a grey raybok. So much fun. I know as we go further on, possibly into Botswana, that's when we're going to see like the main animals that you want to see. But for now, it's like a real nice warmer. It's just so cool. What a start to the day, babes, eh? Everyone is just flying past yeah, us. <laughs> we're doing what we can. Rearview mirror just came off. Snapped. Anything else? We're back on tarmac. You're putting a shift, oh. well done Trev. Two hours we drove for. Where are my arms, did I tell you? Oh my god. Everyone's just laughing at us. <laughs> I'm the smallest guy on the planet, I see. <laughs> right, we found this petrol station. We're in sausage flay, I think. And they've got everything. We've got oil, we've filled up, we've got snacks, we've been we've to the canned, toilet. Vegetable curry. Today's a good day. The sun's come out, we're about to see the sand dunes. It's like breakfast time, that's really spicy. <laughs> so our pedal, the accelerator pedal is stuck, but we're just gonna try it. There you go. Craig, Craig, Craig. Is it stuck down? It's stuck. Can we stop? Pull it up, pull it up. Oh, wait there, wait, wait there. Turn it off, turn it off. <sighs> SOS! We've had a bit of trouble with the last like maybe 50k and we couldn't push it. But then you get going and then it loosens and you can go. Only wanted to eat me curry, me spicy curry in peace. <laughs> Onto your cuddy, love. Reversing our way back into the petrol station. Yeah, we're not making our destination tonight. Dad, the king of practice. Unless an aeroplane comes and picks us up. Oh. Dead. Oh. You can never have done it a bit of time. I know, This I is know. the mechanical whole area. Ah! He thinks there's dust in there where the air filter is supposed to be. I think it's because it came loose. Right, I think we're sorted. The mechanics had a look at the engine. I think we're good. See you later. See you, mate. Sausage Filet is the next spot. Sausage flipping, when are we going to get there? So we've just come into Sausage Filet, but we need to just go straight back out because we don't actually have time to go to the big dunes. Like, it's a real shame because it would be amazing, but there is dunes further along in our itinerary. So we're going to have to make the executive decision. Sometimes you break down and you don't have time. <laughs> Probably like, what are they doing? Not as quick. Yeah, all right. Look at them. Bloody hell. <laughs> Why would you run in front of the car? <laughs> oh my God, my heart. The brakes on this buggy are whack. <laughs> and he's lucky he didn't just get the whack then. Oh my God. Like, why would you run for the buggy? Go the other way, mate. Like, use your brain, use your noggin. We only stopped to get some snacks and now we can't start it again. Probably overheated, you know. Oh, we're going. We're going to close my door. Is that us? Give him a beep. 
<laughs> oh, we've made it to Solitaire, filled up with some fuel. Apparently this has got world-class apple pie here. Whoa, she's chonky. Very good. You know, with like standard, regular apple pies, you just get like a little bit of pastry and then most of it is like the apple. This is like a biscuit on top and then you get the apple, which is just as big. Look at that, that's how big the top is. Best thing in the world. It's the best I've ever had, and that's saying a lot. Sorry, man. There's a few things we need to say about George. First of all, it's, it's extremely uncomfortable on your lower back. Your knees are so high and the pedals are so high as well. Also, it's so hot now. The sun comes through the sunroof. I got burnt yesterday. And when you're driving, your hands get so sweaty. You have to open the window to like dry your hands off. For us, this is a proper endurance race, isn't it? Yeah, not to mention how loud it is and the fact that everything shakes. But this is like a proper adventure because you don't know where you're going to end up. You don't know what's going to happen. You feel everything, you smell everything. You can almost touch the animals, we're so low to the ground. This is definitely the way to do it. If you're gonna do the pump bar, do it in something like unique. I'm sure we'll forget about these bad backs and yeah. the loud noises after this is finished. Yeah, it'll definitely be worth it, I'm sure. Just on the floor in your little shirt, you babe. Yeah, my shirt's getting battered. What's gone on? Batteries come off again. Brown bread, dead. Oh, he's done it. It will go, I think it will go. Well done, B. You're my man and mechanic. Trained professional, boy. I love to worry about you in good hands. <laughs> Pick with the Tropic of Capricorn. I say it, baby. I know you're on a road. Batteries bounced off again, so we've got no power. Because we're bouncing so much, it just the bolts loosen and it comes off. You can drive and drive and drive, but as soon as you stop, no power to like kickstart the engine. So you don't know it's happened until you stop. So fun and games in George, isn't it? We're not bring the battery inside the car. It's got terminals on it. Oh yeah, those terminals, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The original setup's just not working for us, so I've put a bungee cord around it, and I'm hoping that that extra bit of bounciness might keep it in place. Lost the bolt on the back. The power you lift up to see the engine snaps off. It's just rattling around and like smashes and cracking. So we pulled over and a lovely family from Brian pulled over. You don't want us to turn up and say, look, if they don't turn up by a certain time, go back and find them. Right? No, oh, we should no. be all right. Yeah. You're right. Yes. Yeah, we should be okay. We're just driving, going. They're gonna be right. They will be all right. Will be all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right then. Oh, that's still kind of you. Thanks, guys. I have a feeling this might be a bit too white for us right now. He's washing our bags for us because they're so dirty. <laughs> and this place is so posh and then us two showed up. It was posh but it was really cheap. I didn't expect this. I'm glad we made it though. Let me just show you how much graft has gone in today just by washing my hands. Look at that. Minging home. So this is the Lagoon Suites Boutique Hotel in Walvis Bay. That bed's getting got. Gotta go for a shower first, de-drag. Uh, see you in the morning, guys. We're absolutely shattered. It's nine o'clock, bedtime. <laughs> Flamingos! I've never met one before. I've only seen them on TV. They've got those lengthy supermodel legs. Some brilliant colours in there. Some of them are proper pink. Have you got a sunrise hat on? Because you'll never see it yourself. Babes, I've seen the sunrise for the last three days. That's why I look like this. So this morning, we are on our way to Swakamund. <laughs> Don't really know how to say it. We've got our first checkpoint today. All the Put Foot Rallyers, it's where we all meet up. And then tonight, we're gonna have a party. Meet everybody properly because you know, we've been getting to places so late that we haven't even made any friends yet. So we're going to finally properly meet everybody today. But first of all, we need to get a few bits. So we're at the DIY store. All right, we got a jerry can. We got a spout for our other jerry can. Duct tape, bungee cords, carburetor cleaner. Ah! And a booster pack. Oh, sweet. Everything that we needed then. Apart from a ground mat, it's all out. Right. We're sharing a, a floor mat tonight then because we're camping tonight. Be cozy. Yeah. 
Do you want to spray some of this in? I don't actually know if that's the right thing. I just saw it on the shelf. Suitable for a two and four stroke carburettors. Yeah, why not? Not that we need any more crap, eh, Trev? My little safari mechanic guy. This air filter keeps bouncing off. I've had nothing to tighten it, so I've just got a socket set, finally. This is the reason we're cutting out, though, because there's too much dust in the carburetor. Should we get the dust out before we tighten it, then? Would that be an idea? I don't know how you do that, unfortunately. I'll tell you how you do it. Also, look at the state of our frame. Got absolutely battered on the roads yesterday. It's like bent in half and folded up. Oh, George. All right, lads. After one hour in the phone shop, we've got data. So we feel a little bit more prepared now. So we've got a few more supplies to get. We also need to get some food before we head to the checkpoint. We're in Namibia, babes. <laughs> Did you think it would look like this? Um, no, um, it's nice to see some civilization. Honestly, the road is so straight. So to be in a town with shops and that, and you can get yeah. things, it's quite nice. Everyone's so friendly here, though. Everybody in Namibia is loving this car. Everybody stops and is like, oh, what is this? It's so small. They're like, is it fast? And we're like, no. And they're like, ha, <laughs> <laughs> they literally are I'm just cracking up. Also, when I was sat in the phone shop just then, there was two guys sat next to me. And I swear they were laughing at me, and they were in tears. Really? What? Yeah, just your must outfit? Yeah, my outfit. Yeah, because <laughs> everyone just dressed in like normal clothes. Welcome to my world, babe. And they were literally both of them were like leaning on each other, and they were crying with laughter. <laughs> But they were kind of like, you know, when you're like trying not to laugh, like yeah, they were yeah, like yeah. whisper, whisper laughing. Like you're in school. Yeah, and they were having a great time. I hope I brightened their day. You bring joy to the world, Craig, as do I when people take the piss out of my outfits. I'd love it. God, this car's so dodgy. It doesn't sound the best, does it? A couple of spares. Should we, should we ask them if they got any for sale? Oh yeah. my gosh, like what even would they be used for? That's humongous. They're the biggest toys I've ever seen in my life. Wow. Okay, you brought George to the mechanics. We're not sure what's wrong. He goes, but like if you take your foot off the brake to stop at a red light, it just conks out. Obviously, we've been going down like really dirty roads, so I've just got a feeling it's like dust. I'm hoping so. I've got no idea. Because he's a smell of it, Bernie. This is blocking up, I think. It's not getting air. See what I can tell you, dust. You're not the only mechanic in this team. I knew the answer to that. Oh, <laughs> definitely not the cleanest of engines right now. I think they're gonna clean it out a bit and maybe he mentioned something about a PVC pipe. Do you know what the PVC pipe is for? The air filter is it's trying to suck air in and it's just sucking in dust because it's all going up into the engine bay. So if we put a pipe out, it'll suck in clean air. The engine will run a bit nice. better. Yeah, it makes sense that. All right, George 2.0, we've removed this because we figured all the circulation was just sending dust straight into the filter. So his bits are out. Stephen, the legend, has fixed her up. She sounds much better. He's cleaned it out completely. So shout out to the guys at MAD Garage. Honestly, if you have a breakdown on the put for. Don't see these guys. Some people are just so kind. But we're massively late now. Probably gonna end up driving in the dark again. But George sounds much better. You ready Trev? I'm ready. Let's go. What did you do then, Jim? You had a little pop tyre, did you? Just a little pop tyre, but see the, see the beast of a vehicle? George, no problem. <laughs> you look like Crocodile Dundee today, Craig. <laughs> Jimmy and Mike got a dodgy tyre, so we pulled over to see how they're doing. Now they're helping us with our wonky headlight. <laughs> His eyes, isn't it? It's coming off. We're not even helping them, yeah, they're helping us. Bloody hell. They're like, we've got enough to do, and these two idiots want us to tighten a, a bolt. Quick tighten and then back on the road. Checkpoint one, babes. In style. Yeah, yeah. Hey! Good boy, George. Good boy, George. It really doesn't come across on the camera, but this place is mental. It is so gorgeous. I don't know whether it's just because the sun's going down and everybody's here. Everybody's dressed up. We've got to get in our outfits. Oh, I, I honestly think it's going to be such a good night. This looks beautiful. What a checkpoint. 
So the pub pub have actually supplied dinner for us tonight as well at the checkpoint. So you just come here, grab what you're after. What's this called? A braai? And then you take it over and pop it on the barbecue. Didn't bring our knife and fork, did we? <laughs> All right, so we've gathered some of the best looking pub footers around. So guys, uh, tell us your names. Jimmy, Mike, James, Rob, Jono, Tracy, Harry, J Squared, J Squared, Ed, Enric. Where are you guys from? The UK, South Africa, South Africa, Port Elizabeth, <laughs> Johannesburg. What are you driving? Land Rover. Land Rover. A Land Rover. An old Toyota. Port Madeleine. So well, proudly by Jean. Are you happy with your teammate? Like he falls asleep now and again. Well, there's a reason we have four tents. Because after a long day's drive, I'm not sleeping with these. I don't think Jimmy's driving yet. No, you haven't driven yet. No, I'm just a passenger. Are you guys happy with your teammates? We've been married for 34 years. Ah. We have to be. Somebody was going to kill somebody this morning, 3 a.m. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the feeling was mutual then, no? <laughs> One word that comes to your mind when you talk about the Pop Foot Rally. I'd go epic. Adventure. Family, yeah. yeah. Everyone seems to be united together. Nothing. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> there's nothing in sight. Oh yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> Just nothing. We're all doing this for a good cause. The whole purpose was the charity event to give the shoes. That's what we're here for. Give me one word to describe the Pupa Valley after your 22 hour drive. <laughs> Kilt. Nothing! Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hello everybody. Uh, I take safari tools. No, oh my god. <laughs> Please sir, can I have some more? <laughs> Here in Africa, you may find yourself staring into the eyes of a what? But I'm, but unbeknownst to you, 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 but unbeknownst to you. You do that every day by using your mobile phone <laughs> and your laptop. Sorry, I can't.